Stores selling vaping products are reeling tonight. The states temporarily banned them and declared a health emergency. And hundreds of small businesses pulling the products from their shelves wonder what's next. Some tell Julie McDonald they're afraid the four-month ban could shut them down for good. Well, the ban doesn't just apply to flavored materials. It's all vaping products and devices. So less than 24 hours after the governor's announcement, store owners were busy processing the information and clearing their shelves. Hi there. Hi. My name's Teresa. I'm from the Newton Health Department. Store by store, scanning shelf by shelf. So I'm going to come behind the counter if that's okay and just double check. Cities and towns making sure their stores are obeying the governor's emergency vaping ban. So this needs to be taken down by the end of... By now. Right now. Go ahead and get the easy ones down first, and then even um, the systems aren't allowed to be sold. Yep. So the pens, the anything used to vape with. The blanket ban Tuesday came as a blow to store owners now overwhelmed with inventory. Massachusetts loves to be the strictest. And to confuse customers. They're banning e-juice, but big tobacco still selling cigarettes. It's kind of messed up. But with leases, employees, and products now collecting dust. All of them need to be off. The option to wait out the four-month emergency ban is looking less feasible. I'll be looking for my next career very shortly. In shops with nothing else to sell, it's lights out likely for good. And health departments are doing these compliance checks in different ways. Peabody, for example, is sending out mailings to remind store owners to clear those shelves before they face fines. In Newton, Julie McDonald, WBZ News.